What is Litecoin? How does it work? Litecoin is the silver currency to Bitcoin's gold coin. This indicates that Litecoin is an extended version of the Bitcoin core protocol and is almost identical to it, with the exception that Litecoin is faster and cheaper, among other things. Surprisingly, it's not intended to compete with Bitcoin, rather it's intended to complement it. Most companies accept Litecoin as a payment, like Bitcoin Shop, Benzen Beamer and KNC Miner, to name a few. But that's not all there is to it. In this video, we'll talk about the story of Litecoin and everything there is to know about it, how to use it and how it works. Let's dive right in. What's Litecoin? Litecoin's journey to fame began in October 2011 with the release of the project's white paper by Charlie Lee, a longtime Bitcoin supporter. Lee was a former Google employee who had been following Bitcoin since its inception. Lee understood the importance of Bitcoin at the time, but he also saw key areas where, if enhanced, large-scale blockchain adoption might be accelerated. Reduced transaction times and the removal of concentrated mining pools were among Lee's improvements over Bitcoin. Litecoin is essentially a cryptocurrency that relies on a peer-to-peer -peer network to function. It's also a free and open source project that uses the MIT X11 license. Charlie Lee published it on GitHub on October 7, 2011, and its network went live on October 13, 2011. The creation and transmission of Litecoin is entirely reliant on an open source cryptographic protocol. This means that it takes 2.5 minutes to mine a block. The maximum number of coins is 84 million and Litecoin is not governed by any central authority. It's a cryptocurrency based on script. Script is a less complicated mathematical equation that doesn't require a high hash rate. A hash rate is basically a measure of how many calculations can be performed per second and can be measured in billions, trillions, quadrillions, and quintillions. It would be hard to spend long hours in the crypto space without coming across Litecoin because it's one of the oldest and most famous coins in existence. In simple words, it's a peer-to-peer -peer digital currency system just like Bitcoin, but it was made in an effort to address some of the issues with Bitcoin. This is why most people in the crypto industry call it the silver to Bitcoin's gold, but that still doesn't make Litecoin perfect in any way, shape, or form. Litecoin, as previously mentioned, was one of the first cryptocurrencies to enter the market around the same time as Bitcoin. That's one of the biggest reasons it's one of the most valuable currencies in the industry by market capitalization today. This coin is available on almost every cryptocurrency exchange, and it's also among the most commonly used cryptocurrencies in the world. Litecoin can even be used to buy goods, services, or even invest in new crypto projects as they develop. So it's not confined to its own blockchain like most new crypto coins that you see popping up everywhere. But like most cryptocurrencies, it uses blockchain technology to remain decentralized, making it unique and different from traditional paper currencies for a lot of reasons. Firstly, they aren't usually issued by a central authority like the government. Instead, Litecoins are created through the cryptographic protocol we talked about, and Litecoins are strictly released on the protocol alone. But how does it work though? We know it's like Bitcoin's little brother in terms of its functions, but let's talk about how it works. How does Litecoin work? Litecoin is a cryptocurrency that works in the same way as Bitcoin. Satoshi Nakamoto's publication of, of the Bitcoin protocol was, in reality, a direct inspiration for this online payment system. Many people are often shocked to realize that Litecoin was one of the very first Bitcoin divisions. So this makes it nearly identical in terms of tech. But there are a few key differences. Charlie Lee, the creator of Litecoin, started his project by stealing the fundamental code from Bitcoin. But he later made a lot of huge changes to the protocol. One of the most notable changes he made was reducing the block approval time from 10 minutes to 2.5 minutes. These blocks, similar to Bitcoin, hold the next handful of trades that wait for verification. Because of the shorter block time, it makes it more scalable than its predecessors. In terms of transactions per second, Litecoin is currently four times faster than Bitcoin in terms of how many transactions it can handle per second. Lee also tweaked Litecoin's transaction fee scheme to make it more appealing to the general public. Nonetheless, one of the platform's biggest appeals is its pricing structure. Their small cost is unaffected by the volume of your transaction, so regardless of how big your trades are, you pay the same fee every time. For example, if you're buying a brand new Ferrari Portofino for over $300,000, Visa, MasterCard, or whatever way you use to make your payment will obviously charge you a percentage of the car's overall value. If you really take a step back and appreciate cryptos like Litecoin, they are huge upgrades over the traditional currency system. PayPal, for example, charges a 3% fee on all trades executed within its network. Can you believe that? 3%. 
This means that your fee could range from something as much as a small five guy meal to something as much as a new flat screen TV, depending on how big your trading amount is. The restricted quantity of Litecoin and cryptocurrencies in general is one of their most appealing features, unlike fiat currency, which governments can issue whenever they want. Litecoins are only issued at scheduled times once a block of transactions is approved by the network. So this means only 84 million Litecoins will ever be issued in total. Paper money, on the other hand, is eternal. In all seriousness, theoretically, the state can make as many as they want, depending on the need. Even though Bitcoin technically has fewer coins in circulation than Litecoin, Litecoin's developers decided that since Litecoin processes transactions four times faster than Bitcoin, it would be smart to give the network four times the tokens. This fixed number of coins also indicates that inflation will have no effect on the currency's total worth as time passes. There are currently around 70 million Litecoins in circulation, leaving about 14 million left to be mined. Many investors consider Litecoin to be a better long-term choice in the market. Their viewpoints are not irrational either because for one thing, Litecoin isn't as unpredictable as its bigger sibling, Bitcoin. Secondly, the development team behind this project is somewhat more favorable than the development team behind Bitcoin. Litecoin developers in particular have often demonstrated their determination to stay technologically ahead of the competition. Additionally, Litecoin was the first cryptocurrency to handle lightning network transactions months before Bitcoin. So then, knowing all that, if you've decided you want to try it out, here's how you can store your Litecoin after you've bought it from any of the DeFi exchanges out there, including Coinbase, Qcoin, or Binance. How to store Litecoin. There are several choices when it comes to storing your Litecoin. You can keep your Litecoin in your exchange wallet for minor daily trading activity, but it's worth noting that this is currently the least reliable method of storing cryptocurrencies. PC or mobile wallets are the next two alternatives to consider. There are now a bunch of new Litecoin capable wallets available to the general public. In most cases, you'll be able to keep your Litecoin with your other favorite cryptocurrencies in these wallets. A hardware wallet is the ideal solution if you want to make a large investment in Litecoin or if you plan on holding this cryptocurrency for a long time, waiting for it to appreciate or depreciate wherever the crypto market is headed. Hardware wallets are usually a good choice because they protect your cryptocurrency and cold storage off the web. And this method prevents online hackers from gaining access to your assets. Litecoin trading is very similar to trading any of the other cryptocurrencies, but you'll need to keep an eye on the market to have a good sense of the present circumstances. Another key step you should take is to keep an eye on the news for Litecoin developments, like how Russian President Vladimir Putin passed a bill that acknowledged cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum. Positive news, such as widespread acceptance for regulatory approval, usually leads to an increase in the value of the currency. But when there's bad news coverage of the crypto industry in general, you can predict upcoming market losses. Strangely, analysts claim that Litecoin often outperforms Bitcoin in terms of market movement. Many experts have begun to track Litecoin in an attempt to better understand Bitcoin's possible market moves as a result of this first swing at it from Litecoin. Conclusion. Every week, Litecoin's network or capabilities grow in some way. The Ethereum-compatible PLTC coin was just launched on the Kyber network, a decentralized cryptocurrency exchange. While this initiative is not directly related to Litecoin, it definitely makes use of the coin's reputation and worth. The coin went live on July 29, 2020, with the intention of boosting cross-chain asset transactions to increase liquidity in the industry. The P-Tokens project's development team characterized the idea as yet another opportunity for people to learn about decentralized finance. They are multiple P-Tokens in use today. All are based on the Ethereum blockchain, but they are linked to digital assets in one way or another. But we'll discuss that more in another video. Be sure to hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we make a new upload. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for future videos. Join the conversation in the comments section below and let us know if you think Litecoin is a good alternative to Bitcoin. Don't count out Bitcoin though, because it's still the market leader. There are casinos where you could use Bitcoin to gamble. So check out our video of the best Bitcoin casinos if you like gambling.